Hi, beautiful people. Today I'll be showing you how to easily convert a PDF document to a Word file so you can edit it. All you need is Microsoft 2013 or later version. You'll be able to edit the outcome in Word and save it again as PDF if that is your intention. If you're watching me for the first time, I'm Frederick from the Learning Creative Studio, where we share with you how to make better use of technology. So let's do it. So right on my computer, I'm going to open the Microsoft Word. Gonna hop on the blank document. Go to File. I'm gonna click on Open. So now we're gonna locate the document, the PDF document that we intended to convert to Word format. So I have these two documents here. So I'm gonna start with the first one. I'm going to select this one, click open. So you're going to get this notification or this warning message that says uh, Word will now convert your PDF to an editable Word document. It says this may take a while. The result the resulting Word document will be optimized to allow you to edit the text and blah, blah, blah. So the next thing you're going to do is just to click on OK. So as you can see, we have a PDF document already converted to Word file or Word document. So what you have to do in order to be able to edit this is just to click on enable editing. I'm going to click OK again. So right now you see that we now have a document, a PDF document in Word format. Yeah, I think this is quicker because uh, we have just very few text on these uh, in this document. So we're going to try the other one. Uh, with two pages. So I'm going to close this document and we go back to Word, blank document, back to file, open. I'm going to browse to locate the place I have my uh, document. So I'm going to try this one. I think this is a two pages document. Select the, the document you want to convert to Word format and click on open. So like the first time we are seeing this message again. So if you don't want to see the message again, you can click on don't show this message again. So the next thing is to click on OK and allow the word to process the document. So I think we also get this one. This is a two pages document. I'm going to click on enable editing. Click OK again. And here we have a document. We have a PDF document now in Word. And we have the option to edit the document. So that's how simple it is to convert your PDF document to Word format using Microsoft Office 2013 or later version. So after modifying, making all your modification and stuff, whatever you want to modify, you can save the same document back in PDF format by clicking on File, Save As, select the location again. So I'm going to select, for example, the same folder. You can call this one to 
and now you click under the save as under the type select here and now you have the option for pdf click save so now your modify document has already been saved back to pdf so if you are not having the microsoft word installed on your computer let me show you another platform where you can easily convert your pdf document to word without any problem so we have this website here sejda.com this platform allows you to convert your pdf document to word or make your pdf document editable i have had the link in the description below So right here, we're going to click on edit PDF document. So we have the option to upload a PDF document right here. You can drag and drop or you can click on upload file. So I'm going to take this document and I'm going to drag and drop right in here. So right now we have the option to edit our document just by dragging the document into the platform so let me give an example I am going to click right on this one and I'll start typing so as you can see right here we have the option to edit a pdf document another amazing thing with the software is that it allows you to add other stuff you can add link you can add form so for example if i click let me go to the last page yeah let me go to this last page so if i click for example on hard form we have different options here if i select this one for example i can click it and right now we have it here uh, let me uh, do this type text here you can go back to form select again another one here go back to text we have a text right here back to form another one we have it right here go back to text and we have another text here we can also add images too so let me click on image go to new image let's go look for an image somewhere here um, so let's use this one uh, for, uh, for example select this one and we have our image right in here so you can drag and make your image smaller Drag the head to make your image smaller. Just for example, if you don't want it, you can just click on it and click on the delete icon here. You can also add signature. So I'm going to click on this one and place it anywhere that I want it. Now we have a signature. So if you have your own, uh, scan signature you can easily click on new signature either you type in your name here type in your name here sorry uh, Frederick and select the font of your choice also select the color and right here we can place a signature exactly right here so I'm going to delay this one. I'm going to drag this one up here. So we have a signature right here. We have the option to add other stuff like annotation. You can also add shapes. You have the option to add shapes here. You can add any shapes of your choice right here. If we click on more, we have the option to undo let the changes that you want to undo for example 
and click revert select so we have this option here to undo so when you finish with your project just click on apply changes and now we can click on uh, I'm gonna click on keep so automatically you see that the platform start processing your document so here we have here you can see that the document is ready you click on download and if you go back to I'm gonna go back to download and right here we have a modify documents here see all the changes that we that we've made right here we have it so this platform also gives you the option to merge PDF files together so how do we go about this we'll click on merge upload the documents that you want to merge together so I'm gonna to click on upload PDF so we're gonna look for these two documents that we have here we have page one and page two so I'm gonna select the two all together I'm gonna to click on open so we have page one and page two now we don't want this document to be separate we want to make them together so we're gonna click on merge PDF files and the platform is gonna carry out its own theme so we now have the two documents being merged together so I'm gonna download it go back to the folder we have it right here we have uh, merged so I'm gonna click on this one and as you can see we now have one of two pages here we have the first page and we have the second page so the two has been merged together so another thing I want us to see is that this platform also gives you the option to delete part of a particular document. Let's assume that you want to delete the second page of this document. So how do we do it? We're going to separate it and we're going to delete it. So let's go back to the platform once again. So I'm going to click here. We go back to the platform. All right. So we have the option to delete pages here. So I'm going to click on delete pages. Then I'm going to upload the document that want to delete part of the pages. So I go to download. I have this document that we just merged together. So I'm going to select it and click on open. So we want to delete one of these, one of the pages here. So I'm going to click delete the second page. Click on remove. So now you can see that we have only one page remaining. So just to click apply. And the platform is going to carry out its own thing as usual. I'm going to click on download, go back to the folder. Then we have a document right here. As you can see, now it's one page because the other page has been deleted out. There are more other stuff to be done on this platform you have the option to compress we have the option to fill and sign and we also have the option to crop our document here so that's gonna be all for today so I hope you find today's video helpful if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't and I'll catch you in the next video God bless you